Hi, my name is Sean Patel and I'm from Duke University. I'm also a developer for the Internet to Gruber project. This is the end user's track of the Gruber training. In this video, I'll be talking about the new UI that has been released in Gruber 2.2, and this is part one. These are the topics I'll be covering in this part. I'll give a brief overview and talk about the state of each of the UIs in Gruber 2.2, and also talk about some of the other general features of 2.2. Then I'll get into some of the details of Grouper 2.2 along with some demos. I'll go through various aspects of the home page in the 2.2 UI, including the recent activities uh, dashboard, uh, various widgets that are um, available, quick links, how to browse folders, searching, and a button at the top of the screen that has the most popular functions. Um, so just a quick overview to begin with. In the early versions of Grouper, there was just a single UI that is now being referred to as the admin UI. And whether it was intended or not, it quickly became geared towards administrators and had not been very user-friendly for the average end user. So in later versions of Grouper, multiple light UIs were created to solve usability issues of the admin UI. Uh, but they were aimed at performing specific common functions rather than duplicating everything that the admin UI could do. Furthermore, as new functionality was added to the Grouper API, some of it was only made available through the light UI and not the admin UI. Now in Grouper 2.2, a new UI has been added with the goal of being user-friendly, but also eventually fully including all of the admin and light UI functionality so that there will just be one UI in the future. But as of 2.2, there are some functions that can be done in all three UIs, but also some functions that could be done only in one. Here's a table um, showing what can be done in each. Um, if you're creating groups or just adding members or deleting members, then all three UIs would be just fine. Um, the new UI has some new functionality that is just available there, such as viewing services, favorites, and the recent activities um, dashboard. However, um, you can't do anything with attributes and permissions yet, uh, but there are links there that will take you to the light UI. Um, so for that, the light UI has to be used. Um, the same is true for managing and um, external users. Um, that again has to be done through the light UI. And for legacy attributes and group types, uh, for example, the include exclude group type, you'll have to again use um, the light UI or you can use the admin UI for that. Here are some other features of 2.2. Um, a lot of user testing was done with this UI. Uh, there is mobile support with a responsive design. So if I'm viewing the new UI in a small device, the layout will adjust accordingly. Um, and let me show a quick example of that. Um, so this is the home page for the new UI. Um, I won't get into the details just yet, but um, at the left you can see that there's a create button, there are quick links, um, you can browse folders. In the middle there's the, um, there's the main um, dashboard. Um, with the recent activities and so forth. Up at the top right, there's a search button. So if I was viewing this in a small device, um, you can see that everything starts collapsing into one column. Search on top, uh, then the main stuff uh, below that, um, and then that create button, the quick links, and the browse folders. Um, so this will work um, just fine if you're viewing it on a mobile phone, for example. Uh, the new UI also takes into account accessibility. Um, there are accessible controls that can be controlled using your keyboard. Um, the new UI also has protections to guard against cross-site request forgery, thus making it more secure to use. Um, and it's also very ajax uh, meaning that every button click doesn't result um, in a full page refresh. And as I go through the demo, you'll see that behavior. And in many ways, it's just easier to use. Um, for example, navigating and managing privileges in the admin UI has always been very difficult and confusing, and that is made so much easier in the new UI. Now for the rest of the video, I'm going to walk through um, what the new homepage looks like. Um, so first, um, I'll start with the recent activity dashboard. Um, this simply allows you to see the most recent actions that you have taken. Um, so here's the recent activities dashboard. Um, you can see the recent actions I've taken. Um, so this can provide many benefits. Uh, for example, say you just manage one or two groups and you very infrequently use the group UI um, to add or remove members. 
Uh, perhaps you just visit the site once a week or once a month. Uh, being able to see the last six actions you have taken can be a huge benefit in helping you remember the process you go through each time. Um, the group names um, here are linked, um, so you can just click on it and go straight to the group. Uh, the next thing I want to show are the six widgets that are available. Um, your group or admin can control which ones are displayed here by default, um, but you have the ability to uh, change what you see, and um, when you make the change, it'll persist when you come back. Um, so the first widget is my favorite. Um, this is a simple way that users can mark um, what their favorite groups and folders are. It can be an easy way for them to find what they need. And unlike the workspace concept in the admin UI, uh, the favorites here are not cleared once your session ends. Um, so right now I have test group 1 and test group 2 um, as my favorites. If I say search for test group 3, I can go here and simply add it to my favorites and go back to the home page and you can see that it's added to my favorites now. Um, Let's see, the next widget is Groups I Manage. Um, and this simply shows you the groups that you're able to update. And again, it's just to make it easier for you to find um, what you need. Um, so here are the groups that I have um, privileges to manage. The next widget is My Services. So services are a new concept in Grouper 2.2. It basically allows you to group together various objects in Grouper as a service. On server, for example, you may have three folders in Grouper that are related to the issue tracking software that you run at your institution. Each has groups, folders, and attributes within them. Uh, because of the potentially complex namespace that may exist at your institution, it can become difficult to find all the objects related to the service. Um, so with the services feature, you can tag folders as belonging to a service. Then if you're associated with that service by either having a privilege or membership, on an object within the folders, then you can see the service um, in the My Service widget. So here I can see the issue tracker um, service, um, perhaps because I have access to that service or because I manage a service. Um, but I can click on uh, the service um, to see what objects are part of it. And so again, this is just to make it easier for you to find what you need to find. Uh, the next widget is My Folders. And so here I can change what um, shows up in my uh, default view. Um, and again, this allows you to find what you need quickly. Um, then there's also My Memberships. Um, shows me My Memberships. And um, finally, there's a recently used uh, widget. Um, this is a bit different than the recent activity um, dashboard above. The recent activity shows the last six things that I've done, while the recently used shows the five most recently used groups, five folders, and five subjects. So next, I'll talk about quick links. Um, this is a list of um, convenience links. Some of these are similar to the widgets, but the links are there if you're on the, um, even if you're not on the home page. Um, my groups shows the groups that, um, that you can manage. It's up there. Um, and so if I click on that, there are also tabs for my memberships and groups that I can join. Uh, my folders shows the folders I can manage. And again, a couple of tabs here, uh, folders with groups I manage and folders with attributes I manage. Uh, then there's my favorites, my services, um, and finally links for the admin and light UIs. The next topic is browsing. Um, so, in the new UI, you have this tree control on the left. Um, this allows you to uh, quickly and easily navigate the namespace, um, and it's Ajaxy, so each of these clicks here isn't um, refreshing the entire page. 
if you click on an object, um, the state of this tree here stays the same. Um, so um, every click you don't have to go and reopen up the folders if you want to view another object in the same folder. Um, so these here are folder icons. These are group icons. Um, and at the bottom here, there, there's this icon, which is an attribute definition, and then this icon, which is an attribute. Um, these two last ones, the attribute and at attribute definitions, um, if you were to click on those icons, then they would take you to the light UI since that functionality isn't in the new UI yet. Um, but it'll take you to the appropriate page, so the page that you can actually manage that attribute definition or that attribute. Uh, the next thing I'll show is the search box at the top. Um, this is convenient to do quick searches for people, groups, or folders. Um, so say I search for uh, issue tracker. Um, you can see the results. Um, it shows the folders, the groups, um, the attribute and attribute definitions um, that match. And I can click on one of these objects to go to the page to manage that. Um, object. So if I click on the test group one link, it'll take me to the test group one um, group. And then I can manage the members or privileges or whatever I need to do. Um, I can also filter based on the object as well. Um, so by default, it's showing everything, but I can show just the groups or I can show just the folders um, or I can go back and show everything. Um, or say if I wanted to search for a person, so say if I search for John, I'll get all the Johns back. Um, and again, I can click on one of these entities and view details about that entity and perform tasks um, like add the entity to a group um, um, or so forth. And I'll go over that in more detail in another part of this training. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is the uh, the big button on the top left. Uh, many people that come to the group UI either want to create a group, create a folder, or add a member to a group. Um, and so these are the um, functions that you can very easily get to uh, by just um, using this button. Um, and again, I'll go over the details of that in another part as well. Uh, but here I can just click on create new group and then I'm taken directly to that screen or create a new folder um, or add members to a group. Uh, so we've already gone over all that. Um, so that's all for this tutorial. Um, you can click on the uh, quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of the new UI. Um, and here are some links you can visit for more information. Thanks.